What's going on everyone? So today we are uh, gonna continue cutting some soybeans. We are currently headed south. Um, Dad and Jeremy are getting moved down there right now. I think they're already moved down there. So I had a bunch of stuff I had to take care of this morning. So I was absent for that. And uh, now I'm headed that way. So um, Dad's gonna be working on the grain drill because we've decided that we are going to put in a little bit of wheat. Um, that uh, the first field we combine here, we're gonna throw it into wheat. So um, we just wanna get that ground rotated into something else other than corn and soybeans. So Dad's gonna be working on the grain drill today. Um, Jeremy and I are gonna be taking care of this. So this farm that we're doing is for a friend of ours uh, that we do some custom work for. He has uh, his own grain cart and, and semis, so he'll be um, supplying that and we're gonna be running the combine through there. Um, Jeremy's gonna run cart and tell one of his workers to get here and take over for Jeremy. And then, uh, yeah, so we're gonna do that here. So I'm just coming up on the farm uh, we're going to try to get as much done as we can today. I don't really know where we're going after these two fields. There isn't a huge amount open right now. Um, some of our stuff might come open here in the next day or so. Hopefully uh, quite a bit of it opens back up or opens up. So. All right, so Jeremy is just going to take a round around the field here. gotten a pretty good chunk of this farm done. We got like 52 acres done. So there's a little piece right over the ditch and this kind of wraps around. So yeah, uh, I would say 30 acres left here. So should get it done tonight, but I'm not sure. We'll see when the dew sets in. I'm trying to get these lower parts done because it kind of gets up on the hill and hopefully, you know, moisture will probably settle in here quicker and it will up on the hill, but I don't know, dust is moving pretty good, so um, looks like we got a pretty good wind. All right, so we are done for the day. I am headed back to the farm now. Dad's actually all vertical tilling. So I think I'm just gonna run and check up on him quick. He's vertical tilling up wheat ground. And he was also vertical tilling as well. Um, so we're gonna be putting in wheat, uh, both for us and then here too. About 70 acres of combining done today. Not an extremely full day, but um, we, I got out there at 12. We, we got started about 11.45, so um, probably could have went earlier, but like I said, I was doing stuff and um, they had some little maintenance things to do to the combine and it just kind of the morning took forever, but Hopefully tomorrow we can uh, have a pretty full day. We just have this thing sit light enough so it fractures basically. That's all we're really looking for here. The ground is so hard right now. You, you move away the loose dirt and it's just, the ground is just so freaking hard. I'm gonna grab the compaction probe from at home in my house and come around and check some of this because I don't know it's gonna be super hard I don't want to put wheat into it it's just we're gonna be shooting good money after bad so and for the price it is I just it's not worth putting it out there so it would really be nice if <coughs> if we got a two inch rain because we would the ground just really needs it right now so you know I'm a hater for snow just I absolutely hate snow I hope we either get a really nice snowy winter with a lot of moisture, so then not a super cold winter, just like 
you know, somewhat warm winter that it snows a lot, or if it's warm enough that it just rains all winter time, that would be great too. So possibly gonna come and cut these beans tom or tomorrow or this weekend. Um, try to do those. But with the last couple of days with it being so hot out, you know, it's kind of helped out quite a bit. So, but anyhow, so um, I'm going to try to add this into tomorrow's video as well. We'll see how much is here. So um, if you don't see a abrupt screen that says thanks for watching after this, that means that uh, you're going to see me in the next clip. So we'll see you tomorrow or see you next video later all right so next day um we are headed to the next farm here we're like on the border some rain right now all of a sudden rain is in the forecast so it's actually we're just north of it right now there's some drops on the windshield but that ain't gonna stop us the beans are really dry so unless we start getting poured on you know or it starts raining a little too much then you know we'll have to stop but we got nova with me today this is our first time in a combine so couldn't really find anybody to watch her today so she's hanging out with me but um jeremy's behind me with the grain head and dad's over planting wheat and joe is my other brother is helping him out. Um, Jeremy's gonna run grain cart here um, in the 8100. And uh, <coughs> we're gonna try to knock out this stuff here. So we probably will get stopped by rain at some point today. I think it's supposed to come here in about an hour. So, but I don't know. The beans were so dry yesterday, a little rain would have helped. It'll, hopefully we can get some rain here, you know, kind of help push that wheat into the ground because it soils so hard I it just um, it is a little bit more pillowy in the back so or a little bit more soft in the back but I just I don't like that hard pan that's there so I think wheat can take a lot you know like soybeans can so we'll see what happens well that didn't last long This might end up to be a uh, three-day video. I don't know, it's really coming down, but we might revisit this this afternoon because there's clearing over there, so. But I just, we got a lot of rain real quick, so. Somebody's sleeping. A little rain on the beans ain't gonna hurt nothing because they're 11.3, so. All right, well, I'll see you when I see you. Good morning everyone. So this is the next day. We uh, got quite a bit done yesterday. Um, we were actually moved south of where we were. So got to figure out uh, the game plan here, which I'm about to find out. All right, we're rolling here. Um, I got, Jeremy was able to get down in here and get a couple passes along the ditch off and you know right along this fence line over here but then he got shut down about eight so um so i basically did all this stuff here took around around the field and um he's over here combining as well it was a little bit tough out but we didn't have much of a do last night so that kind of escaped pretty quick so um yeah should be uh smooth sailing
came kind of northeast from where we were um, here, and these beans are dry. Average is 11.1, so um, very dusty, dusty beans. And Jeremy's gonna load, just wrapping this field up here, and we're gonna get switched to the. We're gonna move across the line fence over there. That field back there. I don't know if we're gonna mess with moving over the interstate to the other side tonight yet or not. We'll have to see what time we get done with that other field. Problems for getting top out, so it is five o'clock. But no, we're slowly but surely getting getting stuff done. So. For those of you who don't know her, that's Megan, my girlfriend. She doesn't like videos or being on video. So. Yes, I am in a relationship somehow, some way. So, we're just finishing up here. We're maybe half done. We're going to shut down for the night after this because they ain't quite getting tough out, but feels like it's going to and we don't really want to jump across the interstate tonight so but we probably got another half hour or so on this field all right we are done for the night I'm just gonna tarp this semi here and all this is done I'm gonna blow the combine off and get back at her tomorrow we got three fields on this farm to do yet I'm not positive on where we're going next. I think we're just going to kind of keep working. We got to go back west, um, back towards the farm. And we're just going to keep working to, you know, working north. So, um, fortunately, a lot of the northern farms aren't ready yet. So, it kind of worked out good that we got one 80-acre farm um, that's probably could go but um up you know north but um that can sit and wait until we move up that way because we got a couple hundred acres down here yet so yeah, so it's jeremy's night on blowing the combine off i'll get that tomorrow night it's usually a kind of kind of a crappy job so as you can see there's a lot floating in the air so but bean dust usually I'll get a whiff of that and my nose starts bleeding and that is going to wrap this video up this I think this video ended up being like three days worth of footage so I'm gonna try to get back to a daily thing so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed and we'll catch you in the next one